Here's a quick tutorial on how to delete games and data off your Oculus Quest 2. Okay, let's say you want to delete an app off of your Oculus Quest 2. So first thing you want to do is right here, you're going to want to push this home button, which will pull up this. And what you want to look for is down here, you're going to want to look for this little triple dot nine icon, which will pull up all, all the games and stuff they have installed currently. If you want to just have the installed stuff show up, go to here, go to installed, and then I'll show you all the things that are currently installed on this device. So to uninstall something or delete it off of this device, all you got to do is go to the one that you want to uninstall. So let's say we want to get rid of gun raiders, click this little triple dot icon and hit uninstall. It'll ask you if you're really sure, make sure you hit that uninstall and boom, it is now uninstalled off your device. For deleting data and deleting things permanently off of your device, you're going to have to use side quests. So let's go jump into that right now. Okay, so the issue with the previous method that I showed you is that you still have your data and everything saved onto the quest and it still shows up as to be installed on your device. So if you want to get rid of everything permanently, you're going to want to use SideQuest. If you haven't used SideQuest before, I'll link a good tutorial down in the description below. But once you're on SideQuest and your Oculus Quest is recognized, what you're going to want to do is go up to this little folder icon and then you're going to want to jump into Android and data. Once you're here in this data file, you're going to want to go find whatever app it is that you want to get rid of. So let's say I want to get rid of all the stuff related to Gorilla Tag. All you got to do is hit X right here and confirm that you want to delete those items. Now that game should be completely deleted from your device. All the data related to it is completely gone. It should not show up anymore on your headset. And that's it. So if you have any questions about how this tutorial works or if something didn't work, please let me know down in the comments below. I'm happy to help out wherever I can. But other than that, guys, I hope this was useful and I will see you on the next one.